The B I B L E. Basic instructions before leaving Earth. Basic instructions before leaving Earth. Basic instructions before leaving. And now here's our presenter, Gabriel Savant. In today's episode, I'm going to spotlight the world's best-selling book. First, though, if you'll allow me to call your attention to this ministry's ongoing outreach to help feed people who are now facing. Food insecurity on a regular basis, by the way. These people live in Bukidnon province in the Philippines. What we're doing is we're giving away bags of rice and cans of either sardines or cans of tuna to Filipinos who are battling hunger. This is made possible through the love gifts to this ministry. You know, Proverbs 22 9 says, 22 9, it says, The generous will themselves be blessed, for they share their food with the poor. If you'd like to know more about this missionary effort to perhaps consider coming on board with us to give a hand up, not a hand out, but a hand up to less fortunate folks in Bukidnon, Philippines, then please email us at thebiblestandstall at yahoo.com. That's all one word, lowercase. Again, thebiblestandstall at yahoo.com. Amen. It does stand tall. Also, please know that all of my installments on this channel will be completed within 10 minutes or less, or you'll get a free pizza. (laughs) No, no, just joking, just joshing about the pizza. But my features, the whole package, will be delivered in 10 minutes max. That's a promise. Why? Well, because I relate to the fact that often during the week, you're probably about as busy as a pair of jumper cables at a used car lot. I do trust that my presentations will help bridge the gap between you being on the go and also your desire to dial into a capsulized infusion of the Word. Plus, I don't believe that the everlasting gospel has to be delivered in the form of a never-ending sermon, one that just goes on and on and on forever, it seems. My messages won't be long-winded, but I'll promise you this, they will be long on substance. This is your flagship channel. For present truth Bible teaching. Picking up with my opening. The Bible is the best-selling book of all time, with some 5 billion copies sold. But search the bestseller list, and you won't find it anywhere. Incidentally, the Bible's popularity is not based on a slick marketing campaign from some Madison Avenue advertising agency, not on cultural crazes, nor is it on legislation. It's based on one's innate desire to know God. Its availability is made possible by the efforts of determined people, past and present, who've tapped into supernatural help that's given to willing hearts. As an aside, the Bible happens to also be the most commonly stolen book. That's right, partly because they're found in thousands of hotel rooms and motel rooms around the world, as you know. Experts report, and and let me add, that's due to the fact in many cases of the Gideons, the great work the Gideons do, in placing Bibles in hotel and motel rooms. But a spokesman for an independent Chicago bookstore chain said, Bibles are the number one book that people swipe from us, unquote. Hopefully these thieves will read their five-finger discount Bibles where it says, Thou shalt not steal, found in Jehovah's Law, spelled out in both the Old and New Testaments. And as a result of reading it, they'll become convicted to stop stealing. Stealing a book that says thou shall not steal is about as ironic as Americans who, before they testify in a courtroom trial, they place their hand on the Bible while they vocalize, I swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Yet that same sacred book they swear on says to swear by nothing. Go figure. The most stolen book, which amazingly is also the world's best-selling book, the Bible, is meantime being denigrated and disparaged today by skeptics who claim that the Bible is not divinely inspired. They say it's just merely a book that stirs up division. These people are just loophole artists who twist the scriptures like a pretzel. Reminds me of that fellow who apparently didn't get out much, and by the way, he was also brand new to the faith. Well, the feller misunderstood what the preacher said in his sermon, and this feller walked away thinking that playing marbles is a sin. 
Well, that's because he heard the pastor reading from the scriptures, reading from the gospels in his sermon. He read where Jesus says to marvel not, but that <laughs> that greenhorn heard it as marble not. You know, that blooper can serve as a metaphor to illustrate how so many facets of today's world are topsy-turvy. Isaiah 5, 20, 21 says of these last days, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Let's not forget that Jesus was accused of being a glutton and demon-possessed, but the Bible flat out refutes that rubbish. 1 Peter 2.22 King James Version says of our Savior, He did no sin, neither was any guile found in his mouth. So the increase nowadays of Bible scoffers is yet another sign that incontrovertibly, these are in fact the end times. Yet a day of reckoning is coming. Proverbs 19.29 declares, Judgments are prepared for mockers and beatings for the backs of fools. The Bible has had many enemies throughout the course of history. During the Middle Ages, Rome burned millions of copies of the Bible. Voltaire, the noted French infidel who died in 1778, he made huge attempts to destroy it. In fact, he made a haughty prediction saying that, quote, within 100 years, the Bible and Christianity will be swept into oblivion, end quote. His prediction failed miserably. In fact, within 100 years of his prediction, the same printing press that Voltaire had used to print his atheistic literature was being used to print copies of the Bible. Later on, that same house that Voltaire lived in became a warehouse to store Bibles produced by the Geneva Bible Society. You know, that wasn't just poetic justice. It was Jehovah's justice. No one can get rid of the Bible. Substantiating this fact is Psalm 138 too. It says that Almighty God has magnified His Word even above His name. As that great old hymn says, The Bible stands though the hills may tumble. It will strongly stand when the earth shall crumble. I will plant my feet on its firm foundation. For the Bible stands. No other book on earth could be the most stolen, while meantime being the world's top-selling book other than God's Word. It should be our manual for living, sent to man by a special delivery airmail from Jehovah in heaven. We certainly welcome your input to this channel. You can email us at thebiblestandstall at yahoo.com, just like it sounds. All one word, lowercase. Thebiblestandstall at yahoo.com. Thank you. And until next time, this is Gabriel Savant reminding you, a Bible in the hand beats two in the bookcase. The B-I-B-L-E, Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth. Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth. Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth.